Good day, Hope. Uh, the psalm for today is Psalm 6. Psalm 6 starts to the choir master with string instruments, according to the Sheminith, a psalm of David. So if you remember the previous psalm, that was a psalm uh, for flutes. This one is for string instruments, um, according to the Sheminith, which uh, we're not sure exactly what that means. Uh, probably a type of uh, style, uh, musical style or some type of liturgical style uh, that they use. It's 10 verses. We'll go through it as uh, as we read it. Verse 1, O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. Uh, be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled. My soul also is greatly troubled. But you, O Lord, how long? So these first three verses, we see David lamenting clearly. Um, God is disciplining him. God is, is, has done something in his life to cause him to feel this way, um, to, have, um, to be experiencing uh, trouble and languish and stress. Uh, and, um, and so he's going to God, um, seeking um, God's uh, grace in this uh, time. And he wants to know how long this is going to go on. And he wants God to hear him. So in verse 4, he says, Turn, O Lord, deliver my life. Save me for the sake of your steadfast love. Uh, again, we, we've heard steadfast love already. That's from the Hebrew word kesed, um, which is a key, key word in the Old Testament. Uh, save me for the sake of your great, merciful love. And why does he say that? Well, verse 5. For in death there is no remembrance of you. And Sheol, who will give you praise? In other words, if I'm dead, if I'm Sheol, I can't praise you. Um, and in the Old Testament, to be... To be dead, to be in Sheol, was to be cut off from the worshiping a covenant community of, of Israel. Uh, and so David is simply saying, I can't give you praise if, I, if I'm dead. So he, he's, kind of putting, um, he's kind of putting before God, allow this to be an opportunity to where you can be glorified. Um, and he goes on to say, I am weary with my moaning. Every night I flood my bed with tears. I drench my couch with my weeping. My eye wastes away because of grief. It grows weak because of all my foes. So here David really gets into, uh, I suppose, the heart of his lament. Um, he is exhausted from the amount of moaning he's doing. Uh, he has obviously been weeping and, and crying so much so that his eyes are, they feel like they're wasting away. So whatever the situation is, clearly it is um, extensive for David. It is significant. It is um, great. And he's giving this up to God. He's not hiding uh, before God his emotions. He's not hiding um, from God how he feels. He is laying it out there uh, before God. Um, and in doing so, in this prayer, as he's praying this, it gives him confidence. Notice the last a few verses, depart from me, all you workers of evil, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be ashamed and greatly troubled. They shall turn back and be put to shame in a moment. So David starts this prayer um, experiencing this anguish, uh, this uh this troubleness that he has in his life. And as he's going through it, and he even expresses how, how much he's, he's wept, how, how, much, how many tears he's shed over this. But yet, even in the midst of this prayer, even though his, he, it feels like his eye has, is wasted away, he also gets this confidence where he can look at the evildoers. He can look at those who do evil and says, leave me, because the Lord has heard my prayer. The Lord hears me. Not only does he hear me, and has heard my prayer, but he has accepted my prayer. In the midst of the prayer, David has confidence knowing that Yahweh, knowing that the Lord has already accepted his prayer. Because as we've talked about before, especially in Psalm 5, David walks righteously, right? He's walking righteously with the Lord. Despite his sins, he still offers up the right sacrifices. He trusts in the everlasting love, uh, the steadfastness love of, of God. I um, mean, in doing so, um, he knows that God will hear his prayers and he won't hear the prayers of evildoers and so he trusts in this uh, despite his pain despite his 
is lamented. And it's exactly why he goes to um, Yahweh in the midst of trouble. And likewise, you and I, despite how we feel um, and despite the many tears we might shed on this earth, um, whether it's daily or nightly, uh, we know that we can go to God um, in faithfulness, especially in the name of Christ uh, and, and the shed blood of his son, um, and that he will hear us because the Spirit intercedes for us when we don't know what to say. And we know that the Son of God is at the right hand of the Father interceding for us as well. Um, so we have that confidence and we should go before and we shouldn't keep our laments to ourselves. We should give them up to God um, and in doing so, being bold and be confident uh, so that we can stand up once again and be effective witnesses of his good grace. So I hope that's a blessing to you. Uh, tomorrow will be Psalm 7. Have a good day.